What's up, YouTube? Back with another video. LA Mamba. It is Sunday. September 11th. 2022. Uh, I just noticed when I was 9-11. Um, I didn't see social media today, so... I bet there's a lot of 9-11. <laughs> related material out there and uh, just here to uh, make another video for uh, aspiring tire shop owners or people that want to get into the business maybe work for a shop and want to <clears throat> bring value to the shop however they can and uh, here we go I want to talk to you about a lot of different things so, just some questions that came up through uh, people asking me. Um, one is, why don't I do wheel alignments? If it can make a lot of money. Uh, answer is, me personally. <laughs> I've done alignments for many years. I even did uh, semi-truck alignments. And uh, so it was at the other shop, not here at this shop, but if you saw my other videos, uh, I'll point the camera this way. Not this pr property right next door, but the property after that. Uh, we, we, uh, we used to do Mechanic work, alignments, uh, suspension, brakes, mufflers, and uh, pretty much everything under the car. And um, I grew up doing that. And we would get uh, employees to, uh, to do the alignments. And we would teach them. They would do it for a while, and then they would leave and go do something else, and the whole process started again. <laughs> Meanwhile, I had to do alignments, and I had to do the teaching how to do alignments. And um, actually, this individual, he, uh, he would be happy to hear that our alignment machine was a hunter. <laughs> Uh, so anyways, it was two hunters actually. It was one for car trucks and the other one was for the the semi trucks. So I had to always do the end up doing the alignments. I didn't like to have to be the one doing the alignments. I would delegate, delegate and then of course work in there but I would choose what I wanted to work in when I was doing the mechanic uh, automotive repair. <laughs> But when it came to the alignments, a lot of times I was forced to do it and I was not a happy camper doing them. It's just something I don't really want to do, you know what I mean? Like, we got a lot of things going on. We had this shop going on. The mufflers, I would do all the mufflers and stuff myself too. You know, I had a 64 Impala I did fully work on and you know, I was like 18. I did it all by myself. And from then I did any car pretty much. When I did that big project, I was like, I can do that thing, I can do any car. And for, yeah, pretty much any car that came in, I was able to do it. <clears throat> Mufflers, catalytic converters, and uh, bending the piping. And um, so anyways, um, that's the reason I don't want like to, for myself, why I don't do alignments here because I guess somebody has invested a lot of money to do the machinery and and then hard to get people like right now I'm trying to get uh, somebody for to drive uh, my big white limo um, I want to get someone that's nearby that can knock it out no problems and uh, you know limo jobs are not like a full-time thing they're just like a job, like I'll get like 
a job ahead, one week ahead of time, so we know the job is gonna start, let's say, from like 11 o'clock, it's gonna end like at 4.30. So, during the week, I can book my driver, right? So, hey, I have a job this Saturday, 11 to 4.30. And, um, yeah, that's it. It's not, it's not like a, they gotta wait around and, no, they have their full-time job, and then this can be like a part-time job, and they get paid uh, 25 bucks an hour. So, they, um, they can uh, say yes or no ahead of time. And, um, but as I'm making this video right now, it's kind of hard to get the, the driver. So I'm gonna keep looking, digging, digging people I know. I know a ton of people, so. I got a week to figure this out. If not, I know someone that can knock it out, but this uh, person, he prefers only to do limo jobs as a favor for me, as an emergency only type of thing. But this is not emergency only. We got, I got a week to find somebody else. So he's happy doing it and all, but he really only does that as a favor for me. And I don't want to bug him because he's doing it for a favor for me. When I do need emergency, I'll call him up. Like last Saturday, limo job, a limo driver canceled on me. He hit me up on, uh, I'm sorry, limo driver canceled on me. Like 11 o'clock at night, the day before the limo job, and the limo job started at 11 the next day. So I had to get a driver at 12 o'clock at night, book him, and then so you come wake up early and get to my shop and leave like at 10 or leave like at 10.20 to get to the job at 11. So, when that was my emergency guy, he, he's the one that came through. But about the alignments, yeah, I don't wanna be the one stuck doing alignments all the time. It's like some like the hard stuff. I'll be glad to be the guy ending up doing the hard job. Let's say on like hard wheels or something. If my first guy can't do it, my second guy can't do it, then I'm the third guy, then I'll do it, right? But I don't wanna be, all right, job comes in, I gotta do it, you know, so. Yeah, you can be like, oh, you got to find someone more, uh, for sure. Yeah, but to get someone like that, now you got to do other things. And that's another thing. Alignment is very good if you do other jobs. Like shrugs, shocks, uh, suspension, tower art ends, lower control uh, arm, ball joint, upper control on ball joint, lower control on ball joints, uh, links. I mean, you, you, you name it, you know, anything rubber in the suspension or a ball joint, ball bearing or whatever, that, 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 uh, then you can sell some jobs and then the alignment is the big money maker, you know, but that's a whole nother business. It's like telling you, hey, well, if telling me, hey, you know, Rudy, if you, uh, you want to do, uh, make more money, do breaks, break jobs, man, they fast in and out. Get them done like in an hour. You you call the auto parts. They'll deliver the parts for you. You mark it up. Plus you can sell uh, this. All that's true. But that's another business though. That's not tire related, that's not tire shop. And I always say yes, you wanna make multiple streams of income. And uh, you know, so you can make more money. But that's if you want to do it though. Like that's if you want to, you have a passion for it. You have a passion for these brake jobs. You have a passion to do suspension, shocks, struts. You have a passion for alignments. I don't have passions for alignments. I don't have passions for struts, shocks, shocks and all that stuff. I've done it for many years and it's cool. But the thing is with me, I don't want to be tied down. I don't want to get stuck. And plus, I don't want to get more employees. And plus, I don't have to do that stuff 
when we're busy all day every day so that's my reason and here it goes to my next point um, of the video things have changed throughout the years as in there has been more and more and more business on Sundays and if it's always been my like number one day for like let's say like two last two years I'll make more money on a Sunday than any other day of the week and I only open five hours during the day but uh, I just want you guys to know that I'm calling it official now that Sunday is like the new day for people to go get tires so I've noticed a lot, a lot, a lot of people that what they tell me, what I see, I know these people. I, I trust me, I know these people for many years. My personal customers that um, they come and get tires. They buy tires on Sundays. <laughs> like it's like this. They 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 work a lot of. I mean, everybody like Monday through Saturday. A lot of people work. Most people I know work Monday to Saturday. And their thinking is, wow, I need tires, but I'm busy during the week. I can't get them, but you know what? I know Rudy's tires, they open on Sunday. <laughs> I'm gonna go in Sunday. And they come in, like today I came in at like 8.50 because I had the limo in the way so I kind of came in a little bit earlier than I guess normally, ah, whatever, it's about the same time. But anyways, I came in on purpose to move the limo. <laughs> so I got there, someone's waiting outside. Hey, you guys open at nine, but it's 10 minutes to go. And I was like, yeah, but as soon as the other guys come, just to make some time to move the cars. So I, I moved the big limo first, and then I moved one of the Camaros out. And then I moved the U-Haul out. And then I moved another U-Haul out. And by the time I walk in, we got three customers waiting. Once I start getting to the first customer, um, well, my guy's already in there, so one customer, one, one worker got one car, one other car worker got the other car, but by the time I get to my car, we get two cars that pull in, and we got another one. And by 9.15, the whole parking lot was packed with cars. And we got tire sales, we got flat repairs, we got used tires. Uh, I, I don't even think we, we didn't get any labors today, actually. That's kind of weird. Maybe like one or two, but I can't remember them. But if you want to open up a tire shop, your number one day you gotta open up is a Sunday. I'll tell you that, ladies and gentlemen. You wanna take anything from me from today is you gotta open up your tire shop on Sunday. <laughs> and you know I close on Thursdays. So that's when for sure all my guys get rest. We can do uh, some shopping during the week or something. Everything's open on Thursday, right? And then, um, Get your wrist in for Sunday because Sunday is your number one day. And people, they're, now they're, their minds changed. I was like, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go buy my tires on Sunday. And then they don't even show up and ask, or they don't call the week during the week. And call, well, sometimes, but more normally, they don't call, hey, do you have my tire size? Yes or no? Yes, okay. How much is it? This much. Okay, I'm gonna be in there on Sunday. I don't get those phone calls. It's normally just, bam, pull in. Hey, I want 14 tires, you got them? Yes, all right, cool, put them on. There's your money and buy. That's, that's how it works, I mean. So that, that's another thing you gotta get, is you have to have a lot of inventory, like I always say. And uh, the more inventory you have, the better it is. Um, but. Even for me, like right now, I'm kind of like, haven't bought in a while. If you see my stuff, like I'll show you some, some of my racks, right? Like that's kind of empty right there. This one is just empty this week. 215, 60, 16s. These are low. 
two five sixty five sixteen. Same thing down there. This one's gone. Two forty five forty eighteen rack. This whole thing used to be packed with two twenty five forty eighteens, and I can keep going. A few more examples. Uh, not a lot, but just a few. Uh, this rack was two fifteen fifties. That one was two fifteen fifty fives. This used to be solid pack with tires. Two fifteen fifty fives. They should be going down. That was two thirty five. No, two forty five sixty five. Now there's not even one there. See, that's a two thirty five. But this rack is for two forty five. <laughs> See that? There's only three tires up there. Two twenty five sixties. And uh. That's a 225-65-17 rack. See, I'm, I'm running pretty low on my tires, too. I'm just showing you the truth. We've been signing the game tires, you can tell. But uh, this rack, 225-55-17s. This rack, 215-45s. They're all gone, man. They're like, there's nothing down there. But it was 245-45-17. Um, I take these out on purpose just to relocate, but... I, I, did, I took them out just so I can start uh, buying and filling the these up. But one reason I didn't do it, I told you in my last video, is um, I was cashing out so I can buy my rental property coming up, which is right around the corner. It's the, my offer has not been accepted yet, but we pretty much got indication of the owner it's pretty much gonna be a yes, so I need that cash for the property. And that was my main reason for, see I sold these, a lot of them down here, brand new ones. A lot have been selling. Just so you know the sizes, right? I'll, I'll let you know sizes I sold recently. So 275, 4018s. Um, 205, 60, 16s, 215, 85, 16s, right here, sold some today, 215, 75, 17.5s, uh, see, I don't know, remember I was telling you like three videos, four videos ago, I was excited, I got my 14s, right, well, look at the 14s now, those things went down like big time, that's it. Look at the 14, where they go? Saw a ton of 14s, we sold some 14s today. Now we even saw 14s like every day actually. Oh, I'll show you some more. 215, 75, 15s, sold some. About eight or 10 recently. They were in that corner. And some back there, which was a, uh, 225, 75, 15, back there. See, pretty empty kind of, you know. 225, 70, 19, 5s. We signed those. 225, 75. These are my everyday sellers, pretty much, right here. These 225, 75, 16s. And uh, got to order more of those. I should have ordered them now. A lot of my stuff that I've had for a while sold. Set of 4295 hand cooks, 100% life. I sold for 500 bucks cash. Install balance, everything included. We sold some uh, 285, 75, 16 Bridgestones that were up there. Sold some, uh, a bunch of 265, 70, 17s. That were like all right here. So just notice my last I don't know, three videos. See how how much my inventory dropped. But uh, I already made two orders for two companies to bring me some tires. One is coming tomorrow, and the other one should be coming in not this week but next week. Mm, no rush for me. 
Uh, I pretty much have all the money saved for my property that I need. Now the rest I can start uh, spending it on the tires. Uh, yeah, I got a pretty a pretty lucky guy because uh, I've been keeping it cool with uh, ex-workers. Oh, always, but one guy came and pretty much handled really good. That's not, we, we taught him here. I taught him how to do used tires, new tires on the machines. And uh, it's already been like three years now, two years and a half or whatever. But we just kept it cool and um, because we've been so slammed with work, I had him come in, so now it's been us. Four guys, four dismounted monsters, plus one more to help out the customers. So pretty much we just added one more to the team. And um, it's been helping us a lot with our rest, and like we don't get too beat up. Like today, he came in, plus my other part-timer that only comes on the weekends, and I gave my my two guys that were uh, working, or that are working during the week, they get good rest by not coming in today. And they were happy, both of them. And both uh, the new guys, one well, well, new guy's really been happy, of course. But one well, other guy, you know, he's just there, happy, anyways. Um, yeah, you gotta, you gotta, you know, manage. Like, how are you gonna, how are you gonna handle it? Cause um, your body does need rest, and so, including mine. So I, I, uh, I find the way, my ways, how to get rest during the week. So I can go really hard on the weekends, and we do massive sales. Like, I mean, we we haven't been stopping during the week, man. It's been crazy busy. Like, there's gotta be an end sometime when it comes to this madness, when it comes to so much work, because this cannot go on for forever, man. This is just insane work. Like, massive amount of uh, demand. Yeah, we continue with the sales, uh, 225, 70, 19, 5, used, sold. Um, 245, 75, 16, LTs, used, sold. And we've been uh, doing um, 225, 40, 18, sold recently, uh, actually today. Two forty-five, forty-five, seventeen. 17. I had those from the discounted tires. I bought it at a discount, sold to my buddy. Very happy. Those were brand new. And, uh, bread and butter size, 225, 50, 17s. Been selling, 215, 50, 17, been selling. 235, 55, 17. Today sold some. I mentioned earlier, 245, 40, 18. Sold some today. We have um, what was that one? Size. One ninety five fifty sixteen sold the Nexon, Nexon brand. Um, Two thirty five eighty sixteen used. That's a ST trailer tire. Two hundred five seventy five fourteens brand new sold some. Been signed used. Two hundred five seventy five fifteen ST trailer. Two twenty five seventy five. 15 ST trailer tires, been signed those recently. 
What else? You guys know what, what's been selling here at, here at the shop? Um, Two five forty five seventeen. We got one ninety five sixty fourteens. I I tell you about the fourteens already. Mm. Yeah, I mean, uh, I'm trying to think about more stuff. A bunch of 195.65.15s. Those are pretty low already. Like, if you see this rack, those are the uh, 195.65.15s. Um, but they're not good. They're not that good. They're like lower tread. So I need some better stuff. I've been out of 20565. That's a really been a hard one this year. Been uh everybody's been asking for them and we gotta put in other other tires for it. Uh we sold some brand new discounted kind of tires. 245 45 18. He came in for 235 45 and I only had like one new in stock, so I told him, hey, you know, you want a set of four, then let's put this size, it's gonna be a little bit wider. And he's like, all right, cool, yeah. And he loves how they came out, they're Bridgestones. So, you know, when, when again, when it comes to discounted kind of tires, I don't buy them back again because they're just like a one time deal. So, if I'm gonna order something like that, which I already did, after I sold them, I ordered the hot size, which is the 235, 45, 18, his size, the one he wanted. So, um, I just uh, didn't have those in stock. I had to have them in stock, by the way. Uh, I should have had them in stock, but I didn't. So, I just ordered them and made sure I got them now. Uh, I've been selling some 10, 16, fives, which is these uh, Bobcat tires like this. But is that size 10, 16, 5? Again, I gotta order more. They were right here. They're not there no more. I uh, sold even some semi tires. I gotta order some more. What, those are 11, 22, 5s? Which is, I sell these uh, Supermax. Get the size for you, 11.22.5. And I saw the Supermax. I sold some of these, 235.70.16, a set of four. Discounted tires. So what's, when I say discounted tires, I mean that I bought them at a discount. They're way cheaper than a uh, regular price. So those are one-time deals pretty much. I can't say, oh, I want more. Those are pretty much, those are it. You want to take them? I take them, I, keep, I, I store them until I sell them. And then, you know, you pretty much keep the cash with what you invested and in. try to get some more if possible if you're lucky, right? Which I happen to have a very good connection that he hits me up first. And um, I usually say yes. But I'm glad he hasn't hit me up lately because I'm really in the, uh, stuck in this transaction, involved in this transaction. And um, pretty much focused on this transaction, make sure it goes through. I'm very excited for the next real estate purchase. And yeah, I, the reason I have that closed door, that door closed is because uh, the, our, our taco guy is getting ready and I didn't really want him to bother us, but I just, uh, just walk through a little bit so you can see. Getting it ready right here. We have the, the 
the 69 Mero, twin turbo LS. It's my daily driver. And um, I'm walk to the front a little bit, so you see how it is recently. I bought a bunch of 195, 65, 15s. Has some extra cash, so this one sells a lot, so I make sure I bought a bunch. Uh, I ran out of wheel weights. So I went uh, to a shop down the street with my buddies, and I just bought some from him. It was two, two, uh, two boxes, the 25s and the 50s. And uh, just to have me over for, uh, just to get me through for yesterday, for today, and tomorrow morning is when he's gonna come, uh, my, my supplier, to sell me, um, a bunch of them because I, I told him, hey, if I buy a lot, you better be giving me a good price. He's like, all right, so I'm tired. All right, I told him, bring you a whole bunch, I'm gonna buy you a bunch of boxes tomorrow. He's like, all right, all happy, right? But again, I have some extra cash, so I'm gonna invest it in uh, my supplies. If you see my other videos, I use multiple examples of how I uh, spend my money at the shop to make it even better, to save me more money to make me more money. And um, really to be prepared, I mean, you saw that I, I ran out, I never really run out of my supplies, but that, man, we've been slammed with work and um, all my wheelways just went by and I just didn't see it and it's like, shit, damn, I freaking forgot about buying extra wheelways, but we're gonna do that tomorrow. But I just went down the street and got them from my buddy and, you know, we help each other out all the time. There's a limo. I got a limo job this uh, Saturday, like I said, so I gotta find my driver. It will be a good, uh, good test for a new driver to see if we can knock it out with no complaints from the party. And this is where we put the taco stand tonight. Make some money. This is where I keep my semi tires, junk ones. And like uh, Bobcat tires. Give it up for some ID Motorsports. That's our crew right there. Junk tires, we gotta be cutting. So yeah, uh, that's it for today. Um, I'll be making another video, hopefully, on Thursday. So, uh, talk about more things. I kind of get uh, lost when I talk about what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> but it's all good. I'll keep continuing the talks. And uh, I'm here for the tire shop guys, you know, tire shop people, men and women, right? And uh, hope you guys learn some things. And uh, see you guys next time. Mamba out. <laughs>